Large Marge, I have something puzzling to talk to you about. Kiss fans, welcome to It's All For You Demon, celebrating the fun of being a Kiss fan, and the fun we are celebrating tonight is a fun we don't normally celebrate here in the Wax Night Basement, and that is a newer sort of fun, a new era of fun. Usually we're focused on nostalgia, vintage, a coin era stuff, but tonight we're taking it back. <laughs> we're taking it back to 2016 with the Freedom to Rock Summer Tour of 2016 and some non-official merch that has made its way into the Wax Night Basement. Some nostalgia from me, as that 2016's Freedom to Rock was my meet and greet. So a little nostalgia there and then some very cool non-official merch. This is the fun of Freedom to Rock. Hey man, is that Freedom Rock? Yeah man, who will turn it up man? So in 2016, KISS announced they were doing a Freedom to Rock concert here in the U.S. And my second thought was, you know what, I'm just going to buck up and do a meet and greet. I have never done one. I'm going to bite the bullet and do it. And I remember after I hit submit on the transaction, I felt sick because I had never spent that much money on a concert before. And I just felt nauseous. And I came downstairs and I looked around my room and I noticed how many pictures of Paul Stanley were staring right back at me. And then I realized, holy crap, these pictures have been staring back at me my entire teenage, college, and adult life. And it was at that moment that I was like, fuck it, I deserve this. I think that's my stance on meet and greets. Every KISS fan deserves this. Every fan deserves to have that day where it is their day. And in 2016, July 20th, at the Silverstein Eye Center, that was my day. Since this was the Freedom to Rock tour, I decided to take a bomb pop box and make Freedom to Rock bomb pops. And I had Gene sign this box. We had a, a funny little exchange, a kind of scary exchange. He thought these were real and... Wanted to take pictures for lawyers, which was intimidating, I will admit. I've made a video on this before, won't go into it here. Had Gene sign the front of this box. Gene, Eric, and Tommy sign the back. And then I had Paul sign my poster that was on my teenage bedroom wall with my shirt from Confidential. Got some cool pics from the acoustic show we saw before the VIP meet and greet. Got a Gene and Eric Freedom to Rock pic. There's a closer of that back. And then this gray Gene pic was actually played by Gene during the acoustic set. During the actual show, I caught this stage used Paul Stanley pic. And it was right after he did a pick slide too, so I think that's pretty cool that you can see where he slid the pick on the string. And, and you learn something new every day, I just noticed that the back of the Paul Stanley pick is different than the acoustic set picks. The uh, stage used Paul Stanley pick is on the left, and the Gene Simmons acoustic set pick is on the right with the different backs. You learn or notice something new every day. <laughs> And lastly, Paul threw this microphone muff into the crowd and it fell right in front of me and I asked a security guard to pick it up for me and give it to me and he thought I was a fool and I was not because if you can see, like right in here, there is some lipstick. I mean, even though that isn't vintage in the 70s makeup, that's pretty badass. And so, to our point tonight, my alter, fun altercation with Gene and... And just walking away with a bevy full of, you know, stage-used fun stuff. This night was one of the better concerts I've ever gone to. It was obviously my first meet and greet, my first time to have front row at a KISS show. 
and I got to meet my heroes. I got to talk to Gene, talk to Paul, talk to Eric, talk to Tommy. That's everything to a KISS fan. And that's why I say meet and greets. If you want to do it, do it. And do not let anyone, Eddie Trunk, talk you out of it. So on the Freedom to Rock tit, my friend Todd had a friend who actually took photos that night, July 20th, 2016, and had those photos made into puzzles. So as you can see, this is a photo of Gene from that night in puzzle form. Here is Tommy Thayer. I love that orange background. That is so cool. Just pops perfectly. Eric and Tommy. I wish I would know or remember what they were doing at this point. Why Eric was at the front of the stage with a microphone. I do remember because it was Freedom to Rock. They did present like a donation to a local military charity. And I also do remember this. This seems cheesy. But anymore in this woke culture, it does not seem cheesy at all. Paul Stanley actually encouraged everyone to stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. And actually, I thought that was a very, very cool thing. I thought that was very cool, and I thought it was very cool they made this donation to a local military charity. It was just one of those moments that make you proud. Proud to be an American and proud to be a KISS fan. And lastly, Paul in a puzzle from that night. So I have four puzzles from that night of KISS, which is super fun to me because I love the 70s Milton Bradley puzzles. So it's kind of fun to have, you know, the 70s Milton Bradley puzzles and, you know, KISS doesn't merchandise like they used to, but it's fun to have new merchandise and imagine the fun it would be to, you know, be able to go into a Walmart and buy Freedom to Rock puzzles. Now I know, and it is very fun. And to me, the absolute coolest part of these puzzles is they come with boxes. And so you can put together this box, take apart the puzzle, put it into the box, and then this little card goes right there. And you actually have a boxed piece of merch from 2016. What if? Wouldn't it be cool if KISS released Freedom to Rock concert puzzles? How cool would that be if they did it for every town they went to? During the show, they're printing these out, these puzzles, and after the show, you can buy KISS puzzles from the show you just saw. I just came up with a brilliant marketing idea. Get Doc McGee on the phone. Lord knows he's not solving your Dubai crisis. So there you have the Freedom to Rock 2016 concert puzzles from July 20th, 2016, Silverstein Eye Center, Independence, Missouri. I am going to put these into the box and display these because I was at this show. This is my very first meet and greet. And now I have four pieces of merch. Wouldn't it be cool if existed in 2016? Man, I love that Tommy with the orange background. So cool. Thank you for hanging with us tonight. Waxing a little rock and roll nostalgia here in the Wax Night basement. Do you girlies remember the day I went to this? It was the best day ever in the world. Well, best day ever in the world is when you all showed up to the house that was the best day but this was a very fun kiss day thank you for hanging with us thank you for waxing rock and roll nostalgia with us take care be safe be good to your babies spay neuter microchip take care be safe we will talk to you next